media follower of Geometric Tutorials. You are welcome to this edition of our program, which is focused on how to create lights in Atlantis. In this program, I am going to show you how to create lights in Atlantis and add to light source or sources such as this POP light source. You can see the points we have on these are POP. So they are all light source, but they do not contain any light. Now, this program is aimed at showing you how to create Atlantis light, then add it to these light sources. We also have these are uh, chandelier here, and these are wall brackets, but they do not contain any light. So this program is aimed at showing you how to create lights and add it to these lamps and uh, these light sources. Let me show you a copy of this uh, project that is well lighted. Now take a look at this uh, project. It is a copy of the one we want to work on now. You can see the same POP light sources now have light. I created light and I added them to these light sources, but I've not added to these uh, wall brackets and the chandelier. So in this uh, project now, I'm going to use it as a case study to show you how to create Atlantis light, then add it to these uh, light sources. Follow me as I go about that. Now, once you have your model like this, maybe you did your model in ArchiCAD or any other software, but you did not add light. Rather, you only created a light sources, like this model was done with um, ArchiCAD. And I created these light sources spaces, but I did not add any light to them. Reason being that I like creating my own light in Atlantis and use it to eliminate the interior. So look at what you do when you have projects like this. Now, you click on lights. When you click on light, what do you observe here? You observe that there are no lights here. So we are going to bring in light. First light we want to create is the light we will add to this POP uh, ceiling. You can see it, this POP light sources. That's the first light we are going to create. To do that, you move at this point. You see, you have add a light group. So we are going to create a light group called POP. POP light. So you click on that spot, it will bring out this uh, light group one. Then double click on it to give it a name. Now we call it POP light. Good. Now that you have POP light group, we are going to create light for the POP by adding, by clicking at this spot. You see this spot? Add it. A light will appear. A light has appeared already, but you can see it. What you do first is change the power of the light. The power of the light, you have to give it power. 500 is too much for a POP light. Let's go with like a 50 watt uh, light power. So type in your 50 there. You have typed in 50. Good. The next thing you do is you click at this your 2D view. You see, open the 2D view. Once you open it, zoom it so that we can see that light. Here is it. Look at the light here. This is the light. Look at it here. Now bring it out. Bring the light out. The challenge we have now is locating these points. These points on the POP. To locate it, look at what you do. You click at this spot. Once you click on it, the points on the POP cell will appear. Can you see them there? So drag this particular light to this spot. To this center here where you have POP uh, light source. Then Start for the light here, the focus of the light here. Drag it. That is, you move this particular spot to match with the center here. Now you have it done like this. Then go for the click on this uh, front view so that you can see the height of the height of the light. You see where the light is. This is the light. So you are going to move it up. Move it up. Look at the light source and you see the point here. So you are going to move, you are going to drag this point up to enter that POP slip position. Yes, you have. It is now inside this POP slip position. Now, this is the focal point of the light that is at the ground level. That is at the infinite level of the uh, project. That is where it is. Then if you turn this page again, if you click on this uh, right view, look at what it looks like. To show you that the light is throwing vertically downward. Try it this way again. You can see it still has the same vertically downward uh, flow of light. So let's go back to this position. Now, having set it like this, there is one more thing you need to do. There's one more thing you need to do. You look at the position and target of this light. You can see the setting. The setting of this light, the position and the target. Now look at what you do. Do not opt. Go back. Look at what you do there. Click on this um, floor plan view and check if the light is in the center of the light source, yes, it is still in the center of the light source. Now look at what you do. You move to this spot. Do not alter anything here. What you do is, this is the target point of the light, which must be at the zero level, or if you don't want it to be at the zero level. If you want the target point of the light to be at this floor, this floor level, then you measure the height of this floor level. Like in this micro project, the height of this floor level is 600 mm above ground level. But the ground level is my zero level. So the light is focusing on ground level, which is a zero level. But in this case, I do not want to hide. I will just leave it as this field. Now, copy the value you have here and add here. The value we have here is 1772.18. We also have 1772.15. So you change this figure here to be 18. You change it to 8. Good. So you look at this one. It is 10. 
the 110.84 is also 110.84. That makes the light completely uh, arranged. Then the next thing you do is uh, you click back at this spot to change the cone, the cone of vision of the light. Change the cone of vision that is this place by dragging it this way. Move it this way. You notice something. Why you are moving it? You notice the circle. Can you see it? You keep moving it. Keep moving it. But in this case, there is no point doing that. All you do is you go to this place and change this angle to 180. Type in 180 there and click your enter. That's for the light. Now, having set this particular light, you can now copy it right from every other place where you have your POP ceiling light. So to do that, you click on this uh, top view. Can you see the light now? Now, press down your cursor on your keyboard of your system. Press down your finger on the key, ALT, that key, ALT, alternate, alternate key. Press down your finger on it. Once you press down your finger on it and just move your mouth over this light, a plus sign will appear on the cursor. Once that plus sign means, it means duplicate. So you drag it and move it to this place and drop. Come back to it again, drag it and duplicate to this place, to this new position. Now, by this way, you move the entire light source right around all the places you want it to be. Like all these circles, all these small, small circles here are light source positions on the POP ceiling. So, we are going to copy all these lights and move right around all of them. So, by doing that, we'll have the entire room well illuminated. Let's continue spreading of the light. Now, as you keep duplicating the light, keep adding them to the light sources. On the, all the light sources you have, in that particular space you want to... Uh, work on a few the lights and I want you to see what happens now having done that look at what you do start arranging the lights making sure that each one is positioned in the center properly center of the light source light the source of light can you see this one drag it to the center and this one here also drag it to the center do it to all the rest of the position where you have a light source now having finished arranging the lights in the center of the light source. What you do now is you select all the light. You see what I'm doing? You select them all and click on lock coordinate. You lock their coordinate. The reason you lock their coordinate is to avoid a mistake whereby your your hand, your cursor might just move a particular light out of its position. That is why you lock the coordinate. Then tap any space outside the light uh, position so that it will release the entire light. So the entire light that you have here, their coordinates have been locked. So you can now exit this your 2D view and take a look at the interior of your house. Wait, the system is doing its calculation. The duty of the light is here to appear. Wait patiently for it to do that. Beautiful. You can see the interior of this uh, room has just been illuminated now, looking beautiful and bright. now. You can see the POP lights now, they are on. We can also repeat the same process by adding lights to this stand layer and these are wall bracket. So to do that, to do that, this stand layer will have to create a light group for it. So to do that, let's minimize this and then create another light group by clicking at this spot, another light group appears. Then double click and give it a name, call it um, uh, chandelier. layer, chandelier. layer, chandelier layer light. Then add a light to it. Create each light by clicking at this point. A light has just appeared from nowhere. And uh, it just turned the whole of this uh, interior to a hazy look. So click on your 2D view and bring out that light. Look at that light at this point. Bring it out. Bring it out. Then let's get the focus of that light. That is the target of the light. Let's bring it closer. Bring it closer. Keep bringing it closer. And it matches with this spot. It matches with the center. Uh, beautiful. So drag it into one of the uh, hand of the sand layer, like into this place now. Then click on your front view, so that the front view will open, so that you see that light you just created. Look at, can you see it here? Then drag this source up, drag it up, to enter into the hand of the sand layer. Bring it up. Can you see that? Now when you bring it up, this is what you have. Now in this case, what you do is, you just change the value here to 360, you type in 360, but to do that first, let's go to our 2 view here and uh, make proper arrangement of this so that it matches well, so that it matches well, then move this entire thing to this center here, can you see? Now, having done that, go back to this place and uh, adjust this place, adjust the setting here. Then, copy the value we have here and add here. This is a uh, 1583.7 and this is 1583.65, so you change this value to 7. You type in 70 there, 70. 
then up here again this is 37.57 also change this to the 57 and click your enter beautiful it brings the entire light to be one dot just one dot now having done that you move to this part and change this value to uh, change this value this the size of this the illumination of this lamp is too much 500 is too big let's change it to something like uh 25 change it to 25 then change this figure to 360 360 you see what it looks like very bright it's very very bright now seeing that it's very very bright it means that the 25 uh, value you added here has not reflected then look at what you do grab this uh, spot here and uh, move down a bit so that the over brightness will reduce if you bring it down you see the brightness reduces so this time around type in your 25 and click enter now this is the actual effect of your 25 hour value. If you feel that it is still too bright again, reduce it further to let's say 15. So as to have a soft effect of light. And move this backward or forward and let it as 15. Beautiful. Now, this is what you do. Because you have five arms here in the channel layer, you copy this particular light and add it to all the arms you have on this uh, channel layer. Let's go after that. By pressing down your finger on the alternate key board, on your keyboard, the alternate key, press down your finger on it. A, light, a, a plus sign will appear on your cursor. Then move a copy of this light to this place. Repeat the same thing again till all the arms are filled with a light. Now, having completed this process, all you have to do is to highlight the entire light, select them all, and uh, lock their coordinate. Then click on your save because Atlantis 5 does not do automatic save. Because if anything should happen to this uh, design this moment and it trips off, once you want it again, every change you need in this drawing will not appear. So always keep your save intermittently so as to register the works you've done. Then let's exit this 2D view. Exit this 2D view. And take a look at what your channel layer looks like. Can you see? The system will take a little bit of time to clear out so that you can see everything clear. What? Why the system looks hazy now is because the machine is taking time to calculate the entire light, the volume of light you have in this interior. Then once it's done calculating it, it will give you the final output of what the illumination so far will be like in this uh, room. Now, without wasting time, we can go ahead and create a light for this uh, wall bracket as well, using the same process that we use in creation of the light of this channel layer and this UOB. Then we'll minimize this. Then add another light group because each time you want to create a light for a particular light source, create a light group for that source. Like here, we have this uh, wall bracket. We're going to create a wall, uh, light group for them. So we click at this spot, a light group appears. Then double click and give it a name. We call it a wall bracket. That is done. Then what do we do? We add a light. We create, we add a light to this group. By clicking at this spot, a light has appeared. Call number 28. You see it? It has just appeared. Now open your 2D view again and search for that light. Look at that light here. You drag it and bring it closer here. In the middle, where you can see it. Then Bring this forth to the center here. Don't mind the haziness of the system. Don't worry, once you are done, the system will clear again and look uh, clearer and sharp. You see, as I move the target to the center here, then having done this, next thing I have to do is okay, zoom it further so that you can move a bit closer to the to the center. Now, when you get to this spot, you look at this spot here and uh, copy the value I have here and add here. This is 1646.24, 1646.24. This is 502.15, this is 502.19. So as to, if you want this particular dot here to move into this uh, dot, so as to become superimposed, change this value here, type your uh, 5 there, and click enter. Do you see what happened? It has not disappeared into that spot, meaning that you have finally set the light into a single dot. Now, open your front elevation and search for that light. Look at it here. You have to raise it up to the position of the channel layer. Where is our, um, to the position of the wall bracket. Where do we have wall bracket? Can you see the wall bracket here now? Can you see it here? So, you are going to move this light. You're going to move it this way. Remember where I drag this light at this spot, I click on this spot and drag it. Then I'll move this point upward. Move it upward. Move it upward. Into this uh, wall bracket light here. Can you see? Yes. Then I'll go back to my 2D view again and check if something, yes, it has moved away from the spot where it is. Look at it. Try to move it back again. Beautiful. Now that it has been done, so check back the position here. This is a 3.1. 3.14, change it back to zero. Then this is a uh, 16 for 6.19, 16 for 6.22, so change it to 16 for 6.19 uh, as well. Type there 19. Then go up here. This is 
it to 46. Beautiful. Then move this dot now. Move it to where you have a sand layer here. Look at it. Drag it now. Move it to this spot. Move it to this spot. And take it and uh, once you've done that, try to shift this here to give you out. You notice that there is light there. It has shown the light there. So what do you do? Drag this spot down to reduce the intensity of the light. Let me make it um 25. Value, value of 25. And then change this value to 360. Is here to appear? Okay. Type your 360. Can you see it? It's glowing there. It's glowing there. Now, having done that, drag a copy of it and uh, move to this other wall bracket here. By pressing down your finger on the other key, then a plus sign will appear. Then you drag that light to this spot. Now, we have it positioned here. So, lock the coordinate of this particular light. And also, the coordinate of this uh, light as well. Lock the coordinate. And then click on your save. So, as to save the work you've done so far. Then, exercise patient as your system clear so that you can appreciate the duty of the elimination of this interior. The system is clearing. Is it your 2D view? Now, you can see the system has just cleared and the interior of this uh, model is looking well illuminated. So, uh, this is one way of creating a, a lights in Atlantis and adding to light sources such as your PO ceiling, your wall bracket, and your sand layer. From this uh, tutorial now, I believe you can now create your own Atlantis light and add to your light source. I hope you enjoyed this uh, program. Please hit like and also subscribe to our channel and also share this video to some of your friends who will find it uh, helpful. Thanks for watching the video.